also breaking tonight, President Trump's new comments about the crisis in Charlottesville. It all follows backlash over his original comments on Saturday about the violence. Maggie Rooley has more from New York. You can say what you want, but that's the way it is. President Trump squares off with reporters in Trump Tower, defending his response to this weekend's hate-fueled violence in Charlottesville that left one protester dead. You can call it terrorism. You can call it murder. You can call it whatever you want. And saying there are two sides to every story. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. The heated exchange, just the latest in an unwelcome first homecoming to New York City for President Trump. No KKK, no fascist USA! As protests and outrage over his initial response to this weekend's hate-fueled violence in Charlottesville follow him to Trump Tower. 48 hours after a woman lost her life protesting against a white nationalist rally, President Trump denounced the hate groups involved. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups. I think it's too little too late, and I don't think it's genuine. Well-known white nationalist Richard Spencer seems to dismiss Trump's comments. Does anyone really believe that? He was saying vague statements that don't have a lot of meaning, to be honest. Spencer and other white nationalists have credited Trump's anti-immigration America First policies with their rise into the mainstream. We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. And the protests are set to continue with thousands of people expected outside Trump Tower here in New York City later today. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, New York.